Okay, so you said you thought that the fungal infection started on this when you were five? Yeah. What did you notice back when you were five? Uh, kind of like the typical signs of like the thickening and the, um, how do you say it? Discoloration? Discoloration, thickening, like crumbling. Did you swim a lot as a kid? I or? swam a good bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I uh, was at the pool a lot uh, and played tons of soccer. Okay. I'm going to want to watch this video. Yeah. Well, yeah, give me a couple weeks to get it up. Yeah. So we're going to take this piece with some of this debris from underneath. Yeah. And we'll send this piece in. Okay. Um, and let them. You know, so you have some of the nail lifted up off of here also, just from the bruising under the nail. Okay. Um, so that's part of it, but you definitely, the nail definitely is thicker over right. on this side. Right, so if anything I'm doing here is hurting, you let me know. Okay. And I'll back off a little bit. But I just want to kind of try and take off as much of the nail at, that isn't attached. Yeah. So that you're less likely to pull it off when you put a sock on. Great. Um, so all this black stuff underneath it, right yeah. here, that's just bleeding. Okay. Um, that's the bleeding under the nail, probably from just smashing it over and over from yeah. playing soccer. Now it's all dried blood, so I'm not going to pull this piece off. Well, okay. no, that isn't attached. It's just attached to the skin a little yeah. bit. Okay. So basically your whole nail came off. Yeah. And yes, it will grow back. Wow. Okay. Um, will it grow back exactly the same? That depends. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. But for right now, um, this should be, you know, much more comfortable than having that great big old nail on there. Yeah. Um, I suppose. And this is just callus right under here. So I can trim some of that off. Okay. So I would just put a plain old there. Okay. Done. Okay. So I would just we're just gonna put a plain old band-aid over that. Great. Just for protection. Now can I play with this? Yes. Great. Yeah. And it will probably feel way better than it did yeah. uh, when you came in here. So okay. that is just skin? That is right. just all skin. There's a teeny little piece of nail back over here that's mm -hmm. still attached, I think. And as the new nail grows in, it'll just push that out. Yeah. So, yeah, you can go swimming with You can do anything with this. It's nice. just plain old skin. But everything's there. intact in terms of like the nail matrix. Yes, the nail matrix back here is intact. Yeah. It's probably damaged yeah. or injured, which is why it made such a thick nail. Right. So we'll see how much of it is due to fungus yeah. versus just the trauma. Okay. And we'll let you know. Then I'll just edit all this. So now this one also, you know, this is black and blue just from trauma. Okay. So what I and and also it's lifted up off the nail bed, but we'll send in a little piece to be tested. Um so I'm going to trim off whatever's not attached. I think there's much more of this one attached yeah. than there was of the other. Again, all this dark stuff underneath is just dried blood. So the thickening can come from the from the trauma too. Exactly. And the matrix. Why does it respond like that? Don't know. Huh. It's just it's protective. Right. And so um, when that nail matrix gets injured, it usually will produce a thicker nail. Mm -hmm. So the reason to do the culture is to find out if it really is just thick from trauma. Mm -hmm. Then we're not going to put you through the expense, potential complications um, of doing medication. Right. 
If it does come back fungal, we can treat it and maybe make it, oh, sorry, these are all squeaky, um, and make it more comfortable or make it thinner or more normal looking. Okay. Um, it may or may not work, but we could definitely try it. Is this one bothering you as well? A little bit. I okay. don't really understand. Well, again, it's just a bruise under the nail. Yeah. Um, runners consider it a badge of honor to lose right. the nail. Just kidding. Although some do. Because what is the function of toenails? This is what I don't understand. Well, like you know, I kind of have to be something. careful who I say this around. Yeah. But they're just vestiges of when we used to dig holes and climb trees nice. in our evolutionary process. Yeah. So do we need them for anything? Not really. They don't give us protection. They, you know, um, if you're female, it's part of the cosmetic appeal. Yeah. Right. To get them all polished and looking nice, but yeah, do, do we actually really need them? No. <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to smooth this out and thin right. it down a little bit. And that'll make this way more comfortable and less likely to get pulled off. Now again, as the new nail grows out, it'll push this out like a baby tooth and you can just trim off whatever's not attached. Okay. Okay. And okay. this one, are you culturing? I, I did too? take a little piece of this okay. for a culture. Okay. Does that feel better? Yeah. Okay. All right. So hopefully we got it. Um,